Hello friends! Today's recipe is a very simple bread recipe. I found this recipe in a cookbook um, many years ago and it's attributed to the anthropologist Louis Leakey. Um, I do not believe that I actually copied it down right um, because in the recipe it calls for two tablespoons of salt and I never use that much. Um, and when I wrote it down, it didn't include any butter or oil, so I've added a fourth cup of that. Um, and I love this recipe so much. Um, I make it almost every week, and it's just simple and very easy. So the first step is to put in the sugar, one tablespoon of sugar, and a package of yeast. and about a fourth cup of warm water. And I'm just going to let let this mixture sit for about 5 minutes before I move on to the next part. Okay, 5 minutes has passed and the yeast is activated and dissolved and I'm going to put in just a little bit of salt. And next I'm going to put in a fourth cup of oil. And a cup of water. And the recipe says that um, you should add four and a half to five cups of, of flour. And I use just all purpose flour. And I think I just kind of add in the flour un until it, it um, gives a good consistency to the dough. Um, and how much flour you add really depends on your elevation um, and other other factors maybe even the kind of oil that you use um, and usually I add in about four cups of flour and the first two cups um, the dough isn't so thick, and so I can just add in um, add in two cups, and then just kind of stir it around with a spoon. But for the last two cups, I usually have to get my hands dirty in the dough. <laughs> So at this point, I'm going to take out the spoon and start kneading the dough. Now that the dough has been kneaded, what I'm going to do 
is um, coat the sides of the bowl with just a little bit of oil and then I'm going to cover it up with a towel and I'm going to let the dough rise for about an hour. Now that the dough has risen for an hour, I split them into two and now it's time to get them ready to rise one more time. I love cast iron so what I'm doing is just trying to form them into the size of the pan. And you can really use any shape for the for the pans for the for the baking. For this recipe, it doesn't really seem to to matter what kind of pan you use. I've used low pans for this recipe and the baking time is really about the same. Now what I'm going to do is let them rise one more time. The, the recipe says to let them rise 20 to 30 minutes, but really what I do is I'll just turn on the oven to 400 and when it is at 400, that's when I put them into the oven. And this recipe, the baking time, is a little bit unusual. Um, I'll bake them at 12 minutes at 400 and then lower the heat down to 350 and bake for another 24 minutes. I just pulled the bread out of the oven and I just love how they turn out this light golden brown. And this is quite a no fail kind of recipe. That's what I really like about it, as I've made it probably a hundred times and the loaves always come out perfect, whether I'm using a loaf pan or a cast iron. The baking time is always the same and they always turn out just so great.